Hemoptysis is a term used when a person coughs up blood. This symptom is concerning because coughing up blood has strong associations with lung cancer and tuberculosis. But worst scenarios aren't most common ones, here are the possible diagnoses for a person presenting with coughing up blood. Bronchitis, probability, 40%. Hemoptysis, when mild, usually manifest as red streaks in the sputum. This occurs because, during bronchial inflammation, small blood vessels can be damaged. The resulting bleeding is usually minimal, which explains why the blood often gets mixed with sputum. You might wonder, how can we differentiate this from other conditions? Well, if a person has recently suffered a viral infection accompanied by symptoms of acute bronchitis, such as productive coughing, that which produces sputum, and chest discomfort, bronchitis is a likely culprit. Especially, if the individual has no significant risk factors, such as smoking or a family history of lung diseases. Notably, these symptoms usually resolve in under three weeks. However, a residual cough might linger even after other symptoms have subsided. Another cause of hemoptysis is pneumonia, probability around 20%. Pneumonia is inflammation of the lungs. While coughing up blood isn't common symptom of pneumonia, it is seen in roughly 1-2% to of cases. But, because of pneumonia affects millions of people each year, we still should pay attention. When pneumonia leads to hemoptysis, the blood is often streaked in the sputum rather than appearing as pure blood. If the sputum is yellowish or green, it typically indicates a bacterial infection. Pneumonia almost always is represented with other symptoms like, fever, chills, and chest pain, often sharp and exacerbated by deep breaths or coughing, pleuritic in nature. Shortness of breath, especially during physical exertion, is another telling sign. Bacterial pneumonia requires antibacterial medications. Another, more rare, but much serious condition with hemoptysis is lung cancer, probability, 15%. A graver cause of hemoptysis is lung cancer. Alarmingly, more than 50% of lung cancer patients may cough up blood especially in later stages. The early stages of lung cancer might be silent, showing no symptoms. Although not exceedingly prevalent, lung cancer is a leading cause of cancer-related deaths. It becomes a prime suspect if an individual, particularly a smoker, presents with hemoptysis and a persistent cough. Radiological findings, such as a lung mass or nodules on a chest X-ray or CT scan, heighten this suspicion. Smoking is, without a doubt, a significant risk factor for lung cancer, with other associated risks including exposure to asbestos, radon, arsenic, and diesel. Age also important predictor, approximately 90% of lung cancers are diagnosed in individuals over 50, predominantly around the age of 70. Hemoptysis due to lung cancer might start as blood streak sputum, but can escalate to more significant amounts over time. Tuberculosis, TB, probability, 15%. Tuberculosis, an infectious respiratory disease, is another potential diagnosis. If a person exhibits symptoms like a chronic cough, hemoptysis, weight loss, and night sweats, TB becomes a strong consideration. Factors such as residing in or traveling to TB endemic areas, or having close contact with a diagnosed TB patient, further heighten this risk. Particularly concerning is if the person's symptoms persist and don't respond to standard treatments. TB may present with blood streaked sputum, typically, the blood is intermingled with sputum, creating streaks. Frank hemoptysis, this can occur, especially if the disease extensively affects the lungs or causes cavities within them. For TB diagnosis, the MANTU test is frequently employed. Here, a purified protein derivative, PPD, of Mycobacterium tuberculosis is injected intradermally. After 48 to 72 hours, the injection site is inspected for induration, a raised, hard area. A significant induration suggests a positive result.